All right, in game right now here, Arkansas Tech at Southeastern, and I am joined by my GAC running buddy, Paul Smith from Arkansas Tech, made the trip over here to Durant today. It's a halftime score right now as the Wonder Boys are on top of the Savage Storm, 7 nothing. and Paul, football really quickly, is this what you expected? Well, I don't think you really know what to expect anytime you, anytime you go on the field. Uh, there's so much parity in the league. I mean, really, there's there's not many teams that are just far and above anybody else. I think that from an Arkansas Tech standpoint, you have to be pleased with what you've seen both defensively and offensively. I mean, finishing a drive, something that's been a struggle the last few weeks. But I think the team was due. Um, we did see a touchdown called back due to a penalty, but they still managed to get it in on that same drive. So, um, you know, there's some positives, there's some negatives. I think anytime you look at a 7 0 halftime score, the defenses both have to be happy and the <laughs> offensive, you know, neither offense can be. So it'll be interesting to see if the second half is more of the same. And Southeastern defense this year has done the job. So just giving up seven points right now, it's the offense for Southeastern that really needs to step up here in the second half. And we'll see how that goes. We're really quickly here again with Paul Smith. Paul, as an SID, I, I get to visit with you guys all the time. This is like one of the busiest times of year, right? You know, this is a busy time of year. It's not quite as busy as February gets, but uh, it is a busy time nonetheless, but it's a fun time of year. I mean, this is the chance where we get to go out and go to the other schools' campuses and uh, you know, see what some other people are doing. Uh, you know, most of the academic people who are going to watch this are probably going to cringe when I say this, but plagiarism is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> so if I can see what somebody else is doing and bring it back to my campus and adapt it to what our office is trying to do, it's a win-win. So I really enjoy getting to come out here, see what other people are doing, and you know, just for the uh, the fellowship aspect of it, getting to see friends that we only get to see three, four times a year. That's true. That's true. Okay, football winding down. Volleyball, of course, Arkansas Tech has already earned a berth into the conference tournament. I believe they're the four seed uh, yeah, in the GAC I, I tournament, so. which is going to take place in two weeks, two weeks from today. And then basketball season, you guys have exhibition and then games start the week after, right? Yeah, it's uh, the uh, the storm's about to hit us in, uh, in a more figurative sense of uh, things. Um, <laughs> hey, we've had a lot of rain around here lately, so yes, please, absolutely. the storm references, we don't need them here. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's been a different year for our volleyball team, new look team, obviously, new coaching staff. We've had some personnel changes. Um, but, but I think as you look at it, the team has really you know, pulled together, had a great week with wins over UAM and SAU. So we hope that kind of continues. And I, and I think the lesson for any GAC team is, once you punch your ticket for Hot Springs, it really doesn't matter what happens right. during the rest of the regular season. If you look at the position Arkansas Tech was in last year, you know, going in to that conference championship game, they're 34 and 0. If they lose that championship game, they were going to get shafted out of the NCAA tournament right. and be sitting at home. So it comes down to those three days in Hot Springs. There is not another championship event in the GAC that is that vitally important as far as postseason goes. So whoever goes out of there is going to punch their ticket to the NCAAs. And what a ticket it is when you consider some of the teams <laughs> they're going to have to play against. Exactly. You know, it really doesn't matter if you run the table during conference season or if you just squeak into the tournament. If you can string together three good days, you can be the one dancing at the end. That's true, and we did mention on Midwest Sports Saturday today from the, the central region, four teams in the MidwestSports.net footprint are in the central region rankings, but all of them in the MIAA, none from the GAC. So we could be looking at not the same situation because no one's undefeated like Tech was last year, but the same situation that it's going to be winner take all. Absolutely. and and. When you look at the quality of volleyball in the central region, I mean, whoever comes out of the GAC, um, they're basically going to have to, you know, get into a fight with somebody about two feet taller than them. It's, I mean, when you look at some of those teams in the Northern Sun of the MIAA, these are teams that are competing for conference and national championships every year. I mean, I uh, had a trip up to Concordia St. Paul a couple of years ago, and I was just marveling at one of their trophy cases, and I realized this is just a volleyball trophy case. It's seven or eight national championship trophies. It's like, okay, this is a this is a different set of problems, but um, they are very solid in volleyball up in that part of the country, and uh, it, Central Region is just a tough, tough region to come out of, and I really think that whoever wins the Central Region in volleyball is going to be the odds-on champion, the odds-on favorite to be the national champion. All right. Paul Smith, the Sports Information Director, Associate Athletic Director at Arkansas Tech. Thank you for taking some time with us today. The band in the background, I mean, this is college football atmosphere going on right I now. I love their choice of music, too. They were playing some <laughs> under pressure out there. I mean, no, this is uh, this is good stuff. We got Ice Ice Baby just a moment ago, oh, too. Oh, and so I missed it. Good. Hey, we're good. good. That's all right. Paul Smith, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching here on MidwestSports.net.